everyone, I'm Jennifer and you're watching Newegg TV. Today I'm going to be giving you an overview and unboxing of the Gigabyte Radeon R9 270X video card. All right, let's first take a look at the front of the box. Seems like a good place to start. First off, we have the Windforce anti-turbulence cooling from Gigabyte, and I'll go into more detail about that when we get to the back of the box and obviously on the card. This also comes with the OC Guru 2 graphics software, which is um, the proprietary software from Gigabyte, which allows you to tweak and tune all your various graphics settings. And also, this is the overclock version of the card. And then right here across the bottom, you see we have two gigs of GDDR5 memory. All right, here we are on the back of the box. Now, as promised, let's take a closer look at the Windforce anti-turbulence cooling. Now, as you can see here, the fans and the fin array are designed to push air down and then across the top of the graphics card through this triangle cool technology. There's actually a ridge in the fin array at the top of each of the eight millimeter heat cool, um, copper heat pipes that disperse the heat out and away from the graphics card. This card also features AMD's GCN architecture, which is designed for the DirectX 11.2. And over here we see it has the AMD app acceleration technology. Now while 4K isn't a most commonly available video technology, it is coming and your graphics card will be ready for it uh, to support it with the R9270X. All right, so let's move to the unboxing. Now this one has already been opened and I suspect it's because Paul has been doing overclocking with it. But anyways, here's our Gigabyte box. And inside we have the graphics card. And we have some PCIe to Molex adapters. Our Crossfire bridge a software diskette, and also a quick start guide. So if you've never had experience installing graphics cards, this will give you a very, very, very brief idea of how to do that. But for more in-depth explanation, I highly recommend watching our um, How to Build a PC series that will go over more in-depth um, installation instructions as well as safe handling instructions for your graphics card. Let's put all this aside for a moment now and move on to the card itself. Ta-da, there it is. Take a look here. Now it has an overall matte black finish, very uh, simple design. We have a plastic shroud on the top and then also there are some metal brackets around the sides to give it a little bit more stability. We have three 80 millimeter fans that provide downforce over the cooling fin array as I discussed before with the wind force technology. You can kind of see that in here. Um, we have the eight millimeter copper heat pipes which are plainly visible but if you take a closer look you can definitely see that technology and how it disperses the heat out over the open design here. So you can see that the um, air from this is actually going to be uh, moved out of the card and into your PC so make sure that you're aware of that that it's not going to come out of the back of the PC and that's where the secondary cooling obviously comes in from your case. Now let's move around and talk a little bit more about some of the specs and features of the card. Alright so here on the back you can see some more matte black on the PCB which kind of complements the overall look of the card. The GPU is attached here on the other side. Uh, it's worth mentioning that this card is based on the HD 7870, so it has a lot of similar specs, but a few are beefed up. So let's go through some of those now. It has uh, 1,280 shader units. Your render art output units are at 32. You have 2.8 billion transistors. A memory size, as I mentioned before, is two gigs of GDR5. You have a memory bus width of 256 bits, and you have 1,050 megahertz on the core clock, which is up from 1,000 megahertz on the 7870. Additionally, the memory clock on this one is at 1,400 megahertz, up from 1,200 on the 7870. Across the top here, we have the PCIe connector. I can show that to you, but I'm going to promptly cover it up because I'm clumsy and I just feel like something really bad's gonna happen if I don't. Over here, we have the Crossfire X connector. And then moving right along down the side, here are your six pin connectors for the power supply. Gigabyte recommends a 500 watt or greater power supply, and we say always go or greater if you can. 
on the end of the card now, we have our outputs. Now, these are important because these are why you have a video card. So this one comes with a DVI-I and a DVI-D. Let me turn it over, actually, so it can be the way it is when it's installed in your computer. You can take a look. So here at the top, we have DVI-I, which will cover you if you still have an analog display and need that. But this will also work for digital. And then at the bottom, just a, ded I'm sorry, a dedicated uh, digital port. Then we also have a display port and your HDMI 1.4 port here. All right, and last but not very least at all, I'm going to measure the graphics card so that you can know how long it is and make sure that it fits in your case before you uh, purchase and install it. Now, this one is a little bit longer than some of its other brothers, and it's uh, 11 and a half inches. So do be sure that you have enough space dedicated for your graphics card in your case before you install. It's very important for airflow and also fitting and operating just kind of important in general. Anyway, so that wraps up this unboxing and overview of the Gigabyte Radeon R9 270X graphics card. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and also subscribe to our various YouTube channels. Until next time, I'm Ruby and thank you for watching Newegg TV.